about skiing. Professor, how long should my skis be? Never any longer than the hill you're skiing on. Uh, Professor, what is the most important thing for a beginner to remember? Oh, yeah, the most important thing for the beginner to remember is... Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I forgot. Well, I'll think of it on the way down. <laughs> I remember. What is it, Professor? Always remember to stay on your feet. And now, here she is, Big Ethel! <sighs> oh, hi, girls. Big Ethel here to show you how to catch a man. This is trap number 23, the old tiger pit trick. There's a deep hole under these leaves, and when Juggy gets a whiff of this freshly baked pie, he's really gonna fall for me. Watch! Ah. Huh? Hey! <laughs> this calls for trap number 47. The old baby on the doorstep trick. Oh, this always works. Just knock on the... Oh! Well, then, of course, there's trap number 62. The old pool vault into the house trick. Uh-oh. Defense number 12. The old move the window trick. Uh -huh. Sometimes I wonder what's worse, a broken heart or a broken neck? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Let's get away from this nightmare and see what Jughead's dreaming of. Boy, it sure must have been fun flying those groovy planes in the good old days. I can see it all now. Flying with the most daring squadron leader in air history. The trustworthy, honest, brave, clean, reverent, loyal Captain Jughead with the greatest record of them all. Of course, nobody's perfect. He has to find that terrible Red Reggie. Where could Red Reggie be? Hiding behind this cloud, of course. <laughs> now to trump their ace. Uh-oh, it looks bad for our intrepid ace. As the treacherous Reggie sneaks up from behind to heap yet more troubles upon his head. <laughs> now Red Reggie will get his just desserts. Custard cream? Why must it always be custard cream? Yep, flying in the old days was just pie in the sky. Look, I put in a quarter and I'm entitled to the best picture you can give me. Oh, all right. Well, it's about time. Hey, what do you call this? That's the best picture of a quarter you'll ever see. <laughs> Ray, 
Ranch, why don't you ask a girl to dance? Oh, I, uh, I just don't feel like asking anyone right now. <laughs> oh, go on. You're just scared nobody will dance with you. Oh, yeah? I'll bet you a chocolate sundae I get a dance with the next girl who comes in that door. It's a bet. Here she comes, wise guy. Okay. Uh, you want to dance? Oh, I just love to, Reggie. Ah, come on. But, well, I guess I lose. <laughs> Uh, greetings, feathered friend lovies. Today I'm going to show you my latest invention for dirty birds. The Dilton Doily self-starting bird shower. First, a test run. Our bird stops to see his reflection in the mirror, perching on the plunger. The bird's weight forces down the plunger, activating a small charge of dynamite. A projectile which glances off a deflection plate, hitting the bell which sends out sound waves, shattering a crystal glass, dropping broken glass on a string, cutting it, and releasing an arrow which shoots the apple off the boy's head, releasing the balloon, which forces up an arm, causing the hand to pull a handle, which releases the water on our little bird, cleaning him thoroughly from tip to tail. I'll be back in a second, just as soon as we get set up again. We're back now, all ready for the uh, real test. We open the birdcage door and, hmm... Well, back to the drawing board. And now, kids, here he is again, the only guy who likes to get fan mail in his own handwriting. Here's Reggie! Thank you, thank you. Uh, hey, Reggie. The police just chased the hold-up man through the drugstore. Oh, yeah? Did they catch him? No. He jumped on the scale and got away. <laughs> got away. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> told me I look like you. Well, what did you say? Nothing. He was a lot bigger than me. This is a portrait of my great-great-grandfather. That's amazing. He doesn't look any older than you do. My grandfather plays the piano by ear. Does it hurt? Now that's a bomb. Hey, Chucky! Why did the farmer tie a bell around the bull's neck? I give up. Why? Because his horns wouldn't hook. <laughs> la, 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 la. I'm going away to study singing. Uh, good. How far? <laughs> you know, I live by my wits. Oh, well. Half a living is better than none. <laughs> was a dud. This soup is spoiled. Who told you? A little swallow. <laughs> I knew that one didn't smell right. She says she can go out with anybody she pleases. Too bad she doesn't please anybody. Meow. Oh, that's catty. <laughs> Yes, sir? Can you give me a room and bath? I can give you a room, uh, but you'll have to take your own bath. <laughs> yeah, and this coffee is like mud. Well, it was ground this morning. Did you dig that joke? Dig it. I'm trying to bury it. That's right. My name is 999. It's not your real name, is it? No, just my pen name. That one missed by a mile. <laughs> What's the opposite of sell? Buy. What? Buy. What? Buy. Buy. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>